what is up it's me Sarah Marie and welcome back to my channel how are you doing today hi so I was like on crack filling this intro so I just wanted to save you that and um, just come here and say hi how are you doing great today's video is dressing like a Gemini for a week which is my sun sign if you guys are new to my channel make sure you subscribe I make new videos every single week and comment down below what you think my rising and moon sign are I feel like you can totally guess it so definitely try um yeah i wanted to do this in honor of the gemini moon and i hope you like the video okay goodbye <laughs> see if I dress like my zodiac sign I thought I'd take a look in my closet and see if what they show on zodiac sign like blogs and stuff and Instagrams is what I wear I was literally so shook when you look up what a Gemini wears we've got a lot of yellow a lot of yellow we've got a lot of mom jeans a lot of like cute like little ruffly tops a lot of green um, which I definitely don't wear a lot of green but a lot of denim, a lot of yellow, a lot of butterflies, a lot of flower patterns. Dress. And let me just let me just take you to my closet. This is my closet. We have yellow, we have florals, we have yellow denim, we have denim, we have florals, we have oranges, we have yellow flowers, and then we have this. Where did it go? Look what we have right here. The literal dress that was in that post. And this is my favorite dress. But before we go ahead and go shopping, I thought it'd be fun to just do like a little fashion show. I'm gonna do a little fashion show of all of the outfits that I currently own that match my zodiac sign. Okay, so here we have outfit number one. This is the dress that was in that post. It's literally almost identical. I feel like it's very Gemini. It's like cute, playful, fun, yellow, floral, vibrant, but still a little bit like show-offy, you know what I mean? Got some shoes. I saw a lot of like Fila and like chunky sneakers, you know, like these bad boys. I saw a lot of those in the posts, so I'm gonna put that on too. And here we are. Okay, so this next outfit is so funny because I would wear this, but with like different shoes and a different purse. Like wearing this outfit all together makes me feel so girly and just like very like, ha! This is the second outfit. Okay, so for this next outfit, I'm honestly uncomfortable, but I tried to use the ruffly top that I saw and then that like little skirt that I saw and kind of go off of the vibes and like match that but I would never wear this I feel so just like revealed and like naked but let's just show you the outfit yeah and I feel like so uncomfy in this <laughs> but you know hey also I don't know if you noticed but I tried to do my makeup like on all of those little posts you know, very yellow and sparkling. So, this is the outfit that I'm actually gonna wear going shopping. I would never pair this together. Okay, now that I'm all ready to go, it's time to go head to the mall and do a little shopping. So I'm going to Brickle City Center if you're from Miami. You know, it's like the bougiest mall to exist. The cheapest store is Zara. Buy some luxurious bougie fun. Let's go. Forgot that it's rush hour right now and it's insanity. Like. I'm gonna start with Zara to kind of warm, warm us up here. Okay, so here are the vibes. Very confident, very extra, bougie, fun, kind of childish vibes is what we're going for. I feel like this really has the vibes, you know? Very extra, very James Charles at Coachella. I think that's happening. Okay, obviously, this is happening. Where are my Leos at? This one is for you. <laughs> so these are the vibes that we currently have going. Lots of yellow, lots of sparkles. We've got a lot of denim. I'm excited. This is fun. <laughs> Here is one outfit that we have occurring. So I just have a little 
Mickey Mouse t-shirt on because you know, young and playful. You know, we got a yellow blazer because we might be fun, but we still mean business, baby. Got some revealing little shorts. <laughs> and yeah. How do we feel about this one? I love the jeans, but I don't know if I like it with the shirt. Okay, I hate this, but I feel like it's very fitting, you know? This is verging on more Scorpio because everything I pick out is black. I love wearing black. It's what makes me feel comfy. I tried to add some green because I felt like a lot of the posts had green and I wasn't wearing anything. The skirt fits me really weird. Like it's too big in the waist, but like, I don't know, it's weird. Um, I love this little top, it's really cute. I don't know, this outfit, I feel like I could either look homeless or like homeless chic. This is it without the jacket. I feel like a mermaid to be honest. <laughs> All right, so that was everything from Zara. I'm gonna keep shopping around, but I have a pile of stuff that I might actually buy, which was not intentional. <laughs> Okay, so then I headed over to Lululemon to look for some like more athletic clothes, just like a different vibe, you know? And I found this outfit. It's just like a blush top and then some like leopard black leggings. It's like very, I'm fun and understated and like I'm here, I don't know. I felt like it fit. And then I wanted to find something that wasn't clothes, so I went to Bath and Body Works and I was looking for some scents that I thought would be fitting and I discovered Champagne Toast and this is what I decided was like a good Gemini candle-y set. It's very like, hi, I'm fun, I'm fresh, but I'm also light and airy, but I'm fun. And then I went over to Sephora to pick up some like makeup products and I really liked some of these and then this Natasha Asha Denona Sunrise Palette I thought was perfect. It went with the color scheme. Girl, you know I can't afford that, but mm, I want it. And then for a perfume, I picked either the YSL Libre. Um, I think that means free. I don't know. Or Versace Bright Crystal. I actually used to wear this. It's so good. All right, it's getting dark outside, but I just got home from shopping. So honestly, I had so much fun addressing like my zodiac sign, you guys. It was so fun. It was fun to see that A, my closet has a lot of stuff, but just stuff that I wouldn't wear together. Like when I pick out an outfit, I have lots of different like styles and things that I like and parts of my personality. Style is a lot more casual and a lot less girly than I feel like I dressed today. I feel like today I dressed a lot more feminine, a lot more like sexy, a lot more out there than I typically dress I'm typically more of like a jeans and a t-shirt person um, I felt like I don't know just out of my element like not totally me but I also found that I really like some clothes that I never thought I'd like like for example that jeans and like sequin top outfit I love that outfit I thought it was so cute but like me I would never go into a store and be like yes those jeans that sparkly top but I loved it definitely comment down below what zodiac sign I should dress like next and if you haven't guessed my moon and rising sign yet, definitely do that because those are the videos that I'll do next because I had so much fun. I just love shopping for someone else's style, if that makes sense. Like when I'm shopping for myself, I get kind of overwhelmed and like, bleh, and when I was shopping for like someone else's style, I had so much fun. Maybe I should be a personal stylist. Oh my God, that would literally be like my dream job. I have a million dream jobs, <laughs> hence being a Gemini bitch. I love you guys. If you are new to my channel, make sure you subscribe. I make new videos every single week. I think I'm doing Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday. I love you guys so much. I'm exhausted and I'm gonna go just veg and put on some sweatpants because I want sweatpants. All right, see you in my next video. Bye guys. Thank you.